While the war between Ukraine and Russia continues fiercely, we continue to bring you new developments. Here are the new developments. Speaking in his nightly video address, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said Russian casualties had risen sharply across the 1,000-kilometer front line over the past week. He earlier told United Kingdom Prime Minister Rishi Sunak that Russia had lost at least a brigade's worth of troops in its assault on Avdivka. The invaders made several attempts to surround Avdivka, but each time our soldiers stopped them and threw them back, causing painful losses. In these cases, the enemy lost at least a brigade, Zelensky told Sunak in a phone call. Brigades vary in size and can number between 1,500 and 8,000 troops. Battlefield losses are a state secret in Russia and Ukraine. Russia's defense ministry said it thwarted a Ukrainian drone attack near a nuclear power plant in Kurchatov in the country's southern Kursk region. A separate statement from the Kursk nuclear power station said, three drones had been involved in the attack, there were no casualties or damage, and the plant was operating as normal. Zelensky's top diplomatic advisor said, Senior national security and foreign ministry officials from as many as 70 nations will meet in Malta on Saturday and Sunday to discuss the Ukrainian president's 10-point blueprint for a peace settlement. Russia will not participate. Germany's defense ministry said it delivered a third Iris T SLM air defense system to Ukraine. The country is stepping up efforts to get air defense systems to Ukraine before the winter sets in to help protect critical infrastructure from Russian attacks. 